Hi, this is Megan Gallagher. Uh, this is my audio analysis, um, an assignment in fulfillment of um, TCH 530 at Grand Canyon University. The four characteristics of how the brain learns to read that I found most interesting were phonological and phonemic awareness, vocabulary, fluency, and text comprehension. The reading program that I investigated is Collections by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, published by Holt McDougall in 2017. I did teach this program for one year, the 2017-18 school year, and I enjoyed it very much. Um, it was a significant improvement on our old curriculum in a number of ways. Um, collections addresses the characteristics I found most uh, interesting in several ways. I'll start with vocabulary. Um, collections recognizes the connection between vocabulary and comprehension, and it makes building uh, student vocabulary a primary instructional goal. Each collection begins with academic vocabulary. Uh, students are provided a list of words, definitions, and related forms. They're, pre they're able to preview them before they begin the text, and throughout the anchor text and the related text, they are repeatedly and frequently um, subjected to exposure for the, of the academic vocabulary. Um, during and after the lesson, there are opportunities for um, activities that practice, um, that, exp that provide practice and additional exposure. Um, related to vocabulary, Collections also addresses phon um, phonological and phonemic awareness. Because this program is designed for older students in middle school, uh, the focus is not on breaking down words, rather uh, it's on building them. They teach word morphology, focus on roots and affixes, and um, therefore allowing students to take their base vocabulary and expand it. Um, in a book that I read through in the process of this assignment, Phonological Skills and Learning to Read, the authors, Goswami and Bryant, note that phonologic awareness almost always precedes reading instruction, but phonemic awareness is generally developed after reading instruction. Uh, to me, that makes the, the building of vocabulary make more sense. Um, collections addresses fluency. Um, within its addressing of, um, text, of comprehension. The teacher guides have um, instructional strategies for various student skills. Um, and then the program is designed to make connections between the Common Core standards for speaking and listening expectations as well as reading expectations. Um, and that provides opportunities for students to build fluency. Um, when they're working within the collections program and maybe performing like a read aloud of a piece from the collections that helps them build fluency within a complex text. Finally, um, collections addresses text comprehension as a culmination of all the characteristics above. Um, it employs high interest anchor text as well as related text and there are digital and other multimedia aspects as well. Um, students have the opportunity throughout the collection to answer text dependent questions and to do questions across related texts. Um, the focus on vocabulary acquisition also leads to improved comprehension and practice uh, in both close reading and annotation skills help students build this, um, the skills required for comp comprehension within complex tasks. Um, I was actually really impressed by collections for seventh grade, the one year that I taught it. Although at the time, my knowledge of how the brain learns to, uh, was substantially lower than it is now, so my impression was based on the quality of the texts, how well they lent themselves to integration with social studies instruction, which I was also responsible for, and how well they kept student attention. Um, reviewing the program now through a more informed lens, I'm still impressed. Although I always found the process to be logical, I now see it's firmly uh, based in research and best practices. Uh, in particular, I think that the vocabulary strategies are very valuable and the, uh, the application of comprehension strategies across related texts is a skill that my students very much needed to develop. Frequently, it is among their least successful areas within standardized testing. So having an opportunity to practice that with um, texts that are actually make sense and have value and meaning to them has been very beneficial.